morning guys, Mark Farashi, ProTech Dog Training. Sunday morning, so that means I'm heading to Norman's Galaxy Schutzen Club. And right now, what's on my mind is what's going on in the dog industry as far as um, the sport anyway. How many organizations have uh, regionals and championships and stuff? It's the trial season right now, it's kind of cool. It's confusing to me because there are so many organizations. There's USCA is the big parent club. You've got German Dog Club of America, German Shepherd Dog Club of America. You've got all these different uh, factions of, of different stuff, all interwoven, a lot of them, around Schutzen. And there's now uh, Debbie Zappia and her uh, American Schutzen because of the breakup of some of the stuff going on with the uh, European politics and stuff that we didn't like over here. Debbie Zappia and a group of uh, heavy hitters, as I like to call them, people that are uh, world competitors and very high up in, in doing Schutzen, decided to go underneath the umbrella of PSA. And so they're, they are dedicated uh, Schutzen training, and it's called American Schutzen. And one of the things that was kind of cool with this is that she's bringing back the old school, you know, things that have been dwindled away because we've had the politics coming from Europe and the PC crowd, the politically correct crowd. It used to be when you did an escort, as an example, you would put your hand on the shoulder of the of the decoy and you would say, transport, and you would start transporting the decoy up the field, and you would actually physically have your hand on that person's shoulder. And now they've got the decoy five, 10 feet away from you, and it's not as real as it used to be. You know, it used to have some realism as far as reality interwoven into it. Now. It's been dwindled out. Another one was the um, the rule of saying go or yes versus FOSS, which is a bite word in German, or um, packet, which is also a bite directed word. The, because of the political correctness, they didn't want any word that was going to be denoting towards the dog biting. What a crock of BS as far as I'm concerned, but that's, you know, that's what happens when you put the human factor into something that... Um, that shouldn't have it in the politics involved with some of the sports, you know. So I think the whole goal with uh, Debbie Zappi and American Schutzen was to try to bring back some of those old things that, that brought back more reality in the sport, you know. And I'm not sure of the rules of the American Schutzen. I'd have to get involved with it a little bit more. But um, it's things like that that I think she's bringing back. One of the other things that was really a big, and I love this, is um, the tracking. It's getting harder and harder to find tracking fields. Even in our area here where we have more uh, more areas, or uh, Debbie lives in New York, where there's all kinds of fields out there that she can track on. But it's getting harder and harder to find tracking no matter where you go because a lot of farmers have gone towards the organic so they don't want any dogs out there as if coyotes aren't going to be going shitting in their fields. <laughs> so... Um, they're going to phase out tracking with a three-year tier and then phase that out and bring in nose work. And that means nose work that's kind of directed towards the same thing that law enforcement does. I mean, sure, they're going to probably be doing a sport nose work type of work where it's anise and it's um, birch and the other scent that they have that they use, the three smells. And it's more sport oriented, but still the dog's doing a job that's directed towards getting the dog to use his nose. And we don't have to fight the fact that you don't have fields. You can do nose work anywhere, right? So you could, you could get yourself up to speed. Um, and then put, putting that in the sport really makes a lot of sense because there's a lot more nose work going on within law enforcement with bed bug dogs and all kinds of things and application that they're now doing nowadays to uh, direct a dog to use his nose in work. So putting it into a sport makes a lot of sense, especially when it's getting harder and harder to find tracking fields and to be able to go out. And if anybody knows anything about tracking, it's almost like a whole di a separate uh, dedication to your life as far as dedicating yourself to a sport because you got to get up early, you got to go out and you got to track, and you got that whole leg of the uh, competition as far as the tracking leg involved with the Schutzen is a lot of work in itself, just by itself, right? So it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to getting to learn a little bit more about that American Schutzen because I really feel that's the new wave, that's the new age of uh, reality uh, as far as uh, a sport goes going towards something that's a lot more functional because we it's harder and harder to find the fields and it's just not as done as much, right? So that's really cool, you know, some of the things that they're doing in the American Schutzen. So, and then uh, the PSA is doing, 
strong. They've got uh, events that have been coming up and going. It's just, it's real busy right now because of the pandemic. And it's almost like a pandemic fever. we got to get out here. we got to work our dogs. They're, they're missing it. You know, it's been a whole year that we've been affected by this pandemic that's caused a lot of uh, angst, a lot of anxiety. And these people that are heavy into the sport, heavy competitors, and that their lifestyle is wrapped around what they love to do, you know. And it's... Uh, it's kind of cool to see it happening. Now, the only thing I really would, would begrudge, not really begrudge, but kind of a, a comment, is I'm really bummed out on how much um, the live streaming is not being uh, put out there and broadcast as much as it should. It's almost like all these little groups have these uh, locked areas on Facebook where you can't get into them unless you're totally dedicated to it and you don't know what's going on as far as the live stream. You got all kinds of people like me that are fans that have been doing this for years sitting on the bench that want to vicariously participate by being able to watch it, you know, and with today's modern age, we can do that with live streaming and they have the live stream, but like the uh, German Shepherd Dog Club of America had it live streamed, but it was really hard to find out where it was, and I missed it. I've seen some of the, the clips of them filming these little clips, and they're showing up on Facebook, but it was harder than hell to find the location of where they were live streaming it, because they didn't broadcast it that well, and they should have. People should share that stuff, but you can't share it, because all these groups are locking down their groups. So it's it's just a, it's a weird thing this year, you know? So... Now we've got uh, USCA, the, the championship is, I think it's back in Missouri somewhere. I'm not positive, but it's going on next week. All the competitors are driving back. Some of them are going back now. They'll be back there three or four days, working their dogs, getting themselves primed to be able to be uh, peaking on competition day. And I've talked about that before. The art of the sport is a lot about competition, is about getting your dog prepared and having him at the, the utmost ability to be peaked on that day so he gets the highest scores, right? If you have a bad day and the dog's not doing well and you travel and you didn't handle the travel right and stuff happens, you know, life is life, um, and you're not, you don't have your, your dog ready to go out there and have him being the best he can be to compete with some of the scores these guys get, you got to remember that Schutzen is a sport that's very, very exact. The exactness gets tougher and tougher every every year, and the quality of the competition, as far as the competitive competitors uh, striving for those uppermost top scores, is getting tighter and tighter. Very cool. Now, I've told you guys also before that I'm lucky that I'm in this LA area, that I'm here in San Diego and everything. We've got some of the best in our region, Southwest region. Uh, we had nine people going. Out of 99, that's pretty good showing. There's a lot of them that I know that are going to be there. Christian Gomez is going to be there. I'm going to a club right now, the Galaxy, that has two members that are, that are qualified to go because they've been competing this last year and getting the scores they need to be able to, to be invited to go to this event. So it's pretty cool. Chile is going um, with, with Leo's, Leo and um, Jasper and Andy are going to be going from the Galaxy Club, so that's totally cool. And then there's a lot of them that I know from through all the different clubs I know of, and, and some of them I know personally, and some of them are just in passing when you see them at the, the events. There's a lot of the stuff we see each other, we might not see each other for a year, and all of a sudden a big event like this will come up, and I'll go to a big event and I'll see everybody. You know, it's like old homes with right? There's times that I've gone out and went to these events, and I see people I haven't seen in 20, 30 years because they all have that uh, love and passion for the sports and love and passion for the dogs and what they're doing uh, that it brings them together. You know, we all have a tendency to go on in life. We might fall out of it for a while, and then, boom, we get involved in it again, and here we go, and boom, I haven't seen you for 30 years. <laughs> That's part of the part of the nature of the beast in the, in the, dog, the dog field, you know. It's very cool, so... I guess I'll let you guys go. Mark Farashi with ProTech Dog Training. Have a good day. I'm going to be enjoying myself this, today, uh, supporting the, the members that are going to be going to compete at the USCA trial. And I'll see if I can find a link and post that on Facebook to make sure if I can try to hook up to where it's going to be streamed and all that, get you that information and post it on my, uh, my feed if I can so you guys can uh, 
do the same thing I do, try to live vicariously through being able to watch it on film, you know. So it's very cool. It, it gets me pumped. I get really uh, enthused with it. Even though I've only been sitting on the bench for all these years and maybe getting a little bit involved by going to shits and seminars and doing some other stuff, but I haven't been out there working to get on the podium. You know, I don't compete to that level um, because I don't enjoy it. And it's just me. It's just who I am. I don't really get into wanting to compete. But it doesn't mean that I'm not uh, very uh, passionate about uh, giving my support and loving and to watch you guys do your thing and be able to know who's who and to be able to be involved in that regards it really uh, floats my boat and that makes me very happy so it's going to be a fun day talking shop down here today and, and seeing who's going to be going and how their dogs are doing and etc so it's going to be very cool so good luck to all you guys that are going to the usca trial the championship and uh if you know of the, the link that's going to get us the streaming, the live stream, make sure you send it my way so I can try to get it uh, posted on my Facebook feed and make sure as many of the general public get to see it. This is what it's all about, guys. We want to have our passion rub off on the general public so they start to learn what it is and maybe they'll get involved, you know, at one time and maybe start trying to work towards getting into the sport of Schutzen, so or working dog sports in general, to be honest with you, you know. PSA, whatever it may be, I'm in dog, all of it, you know, so it's all very cool, so, I thank you very much, Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training, going out to play with the dogs on a Sunday morning as usual, have a good day, guys, bye-bye.